This is the Yesu Fusion repeater which does 2 meters and 70 centimeters but not at the same time. I'll show you a few things about the setup. This screen is touch sensitive so if I touch the input called the uplink, the input, um, I can change the frequency. You can see there, I can type in whatever frequency I want. I won't change it, I go back and if I change the downlink or the output frequency once again the screen appears you type in the frequency you want. This button down here is the transmitter power just by touching it changes it. It's now on high which is 50 watts, low which is 5 watts and medium which is 20 watts. I can change the squelch settings by pushing the button there and then I make the squelch harder to open by making the yellow bar go up and if I make it go all the way down the mute will open as you hear it. so I'll put the squelch back on uh, what else can I show you let's have a look so go back set up go to function signaling sets up the CTCSS encoding and it also sets up a DCS code, digital coded squelch. I don't know much about the bottom one, but this one now is transmitting on that, uh, it transmits 123 hertz. So if I select that, I can go through the various frequencies. I've got to go all the way back to um, 123. back up to 123 which is what I've um, which is the local standard here oh gone past it hang on can I go down oh yes I can ha, could have used the up down button okay so we go back what else can I show you uh, mode remote let's have a look see what that one does you can turn the tr uh, transmitter on and off that selects that option then you push it again and so TX inhibit is now on so it won't transmit uh, it's not in remote mode so but you can use this as a remote base station not just as a repeater the ID set you type in I've just typed in my call sign but you can type in your call sign uh, what else have we got ID announce you can select um, CW or you can select voice. This doesn't have the voice module in it, so we go back to CW. You can change the CW level. I've got it on low. Cycle through. CW speed. I've got it set at 20 words per minute. Go up to 32 and down to 16. I'll leave it at that. Back. Uh, what else have we got here? Oh, the timeout timer, I've set it at five minutes. You can obviously change that. I'll leave it at five minutes. Uh, what else can I show you? Signaling was the C CTCSS squelch. Let's have a look at what this one is all about. Um, receive a squelch tone. Oh yes, that would select if you wanted to ha have the repeater's receiver require a CTCSS tone, but I'll leave it in the in the uh, normal carrier mode. And of course, this one would then select the CTCSS tone, presumably. But I'll leave that off. Back. Uh, I think we basically showed you all the bits and pieces there. Yep. So I'm going to go back. And there, so the and oh, and you you can see the repeater's set the FM mode. When you put it, when it's got a red bar over, it means it's in auto detect automatic mode select. So it will select whatever comes in FM, digital in, digital wide in. 
it automatically selects it. But the way I've got this set here, uh, how do I get there? Oh, here we go. We go back. It's set in auto mode on receive. I could select fixed, um, but I want to leave it in auto. So whatever mode comes in, narrow, narrow digital, wide digital, or FM, it will go out fixed as FM. So at the moment, any input will go out as FM. That's the way I've decided to leave it for the moment. That's really it. That's the basic um, repeater. As I learn more, I'll be able to do a better video.